Hello, 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 guys. Uh, this is uh, Makaran Utpat. Uh, thanks for joining me today. The name of my podcast uh, today is Sir Isaac Newton's Two Extraordinary Lessons. As you know, Sir Isaac Newton was a great uh, mathematician, physicist, and uh, he was best known for his laws of motion and laws of gravity. He's saying, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants, has become one of the profound ones. However, per Wikipedia, the original concept, the original notion was attributed to somebody named Bernard of Chartres. But it is Sir Isaac Newton is the one who made it more familiar uh, to the general public, general masses. To me, a couple of lessons of this particular quote can be interpreted. Uh, uh, the most obvious, of course, that we are all aware of is that being able to discover the truths by building on the previous discoveries. So it basically means that uh, knowledge gain is incremental in nature, previous generation scholars pass the baton on to the next generation scholars. The next generation scholars take that concept, build upon that, and they take it to the next level, so on and so forth. To me, however, this concept, this notion is just not limited to the professional sphere, but I believe it is also related to our personal sphere of influence. Because professional sphere and personal spheres interact with each other, intersect with each other which is what ends up making us who we are as an individual so the other interpretation that i would like to draw upon is basically the sacrifices of our parents extended family our early mentors may be one of the reasons why uh, we may be successful today uh, so it is all part of the value chain that we are all uh, interconnected with. However, by saying this, I absolutely do not mean to discredit or discount any kind of accomplishments, any kind of achievements you are able to achieve on your own. From my own experience though, I know many of my friends, many professionals, uh, where despite not having immediate family member support or the early mentorship, they are able to excel uh, forward in their career and they are doing excellent. So if that is the case, if that is what is applying to you, more power and much more respects to you. Having said that, uh, the more I think about uh, this personal sphere of influence connection, the more I introspect about that, the more I find the highest level of appreciation for my family members and my early mentors. So as we were growing up, uh, my family did not uh, have the money, resources, uh, not they were able to, not they were able to provide the every little things. They never believed in keeping up with the Joneses because they just did not have anything to offer to us except for the basic things. So I'm sure many of you can relate to this story. Also, my early mentors were brilliant people, thought leaders in their own ways. Some of them could not afford to come to United States as a part of taking the higher education. But when it came to me, they encouraged me wholeheartedly. They lent their support in a great enthusiastic way. And they made sure that uh, I was able to come here. So this remained, this has remained a great valuable lesson for me. My family members and my early mentors gave everything they got and made sure that the circumstances uh, did not become the big impediment uh, for me to come to USA. So I'm sure many of you can relate to this story Many of you may know this kind of people in, in, in your own uh, sphere of influence where circumstances just did not permit those people, but that didn't stop them 
uh, from guiding you to achieve your goals and ambition and uh, objectives and so on and so forth so as i write uh, as i am talking to you about this podcast i find highest level of regards and respects uh, for these people in my case it was my parents my brothers sisters my family members uh, and my early mentors they were able to carve out the important part of my career and i'm really grateful for that it is because of their sacrifices it is because of uh, them allowing me to look at life as full of possibilities uh, i'm able to uh, take a great steps in my career and they certainly served as a guiding light uh, for me in many ways they made sure that i can i could rather stand on their shoulders and see farther and farther uh, in order to achieve my goals so this is another lesson i see in sir isaac newton's quote and i do not want to take it for granted and i count my blessings every single day so signing off uh, for now with utmost respect and utmost uh, humility wishing you all the best and friends uh, i will highly appreciate if you can subscribe to my blogs if you can give me good reviews good ratings i'm trying to do my best with every single episode and i i can assure you that i'm trying to improve as with the each and every episode is coming along if you like to get in touch with me to bounce off any ideas or if you have any questions any comments you can feel free to reach me at 888 3654535 that number again is 888 3654535 or you can visit my website at www. makaran utpath.com m a k a r a n d u t p a t .com or you can like my facebook page with the name makaran space utpath comma thought leader or of course you can connect with me at twitter or instagram with the handle at @sign makaran utpath m a k a r a n d u t p a t signing off for now take care thank you bye bye